Hello world, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's haul video. We did a little bit more than our normal route because the picking was not good. <laughs> I knew it happened one of these weeks where we, you know, we've been having really, really good hauls the past, gosh, eight or nine weeks or so. And uh, this Sunday was just not good. We went to our normal three plus we went to Ambets and we went to a Goodwill and it still was not good. But anyway, we still got some decent stuff. It's just not the volume that we're used to. With that said, I'll show you what I got. Let me jump right in. Got a pair of Ralph Lauren uh, Polo Jeans Company uh, jeans. These were brand new with the tags, you know, just like I like my clothes and stuff. And we paid, uh, got about, blue and pink were half off at this store, at this thrift store, but also at this thrift store, all clothes were half off for uh, MLK Junior Day. So these typically I would have only gotten 25% off, but since it, all clothes were half off, uh, Seven dollars and fifty cents on those, so yeah, really good deal. Like that better than the twenty-five percent for sure. Got this brand new with the tags. Um, I don't pick up Ralph Lauren that much, as in shirts and stuff anymore, uh, especially dress shirts. But this one again, brand new with the tags. Uh, let me see here. This is a Yarmouth, uh, like, size shirt. It's not an extra large or anything. This is a seventeen thirty-four. Shirt, and we got this again for seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, here's the other tags on this side, brand new. Yeah, so really nice shirt. Mm. Didn't even I didn't comp those two things. I, brand new with the tags. I know they're gonna do well. Uh, again, this is an Adidas, uh, kind of a performance. This is a cli their Climb a Cool line, double extra large, and this also has Guinness embroidered on it. There's the Adidas, all that stuff, and brand new with the tags. Just like I said, normal. Four bucks. No brainer on that one. What's funny is on this shirt and a couple of others, another, uh, <laughs> how do I say it? Spastic reseller. And I don't mind resellers, you guys know that, but he was going through the racks to. <laughs> like crazy. Just in them, I mean, he was just flying through them. And uh, he passed up on a bunch of this stuff. And he picked up on a bunch of stuff I passed on. I know it was some stuff that would bring 5 or $10 profit. But I'm slow and steady. I see the stuff with the tags. And he's just flying through there like crazy. And uh, yeah, slow and steady. You know, I'm the tortoise, I guess. I'm the old man. Uh, this one was really cool. This is a vintage uh, polo shirt. Uh, again, this was brand new with the tags. Let me pull them out here. Let's see. Brand new. Uh, $3.50, and this is a Washington Capitals shirt, the hockey team, the Stanley Cup champions, reigning Stanley Cup champions, and this is a starter center ice shirt. No comps on this, of course, uh, and being that it only costs $3.50, I mean, comps on this one, since they're the, the champs and it's really cool, starter, vintage, it could be $50 to $75, and that's just a guess because there's no good comps on that. Next up, this uh, Manchester City Football Club, uh, soccer club. Uh, I've got this for $7.50, and guess what? Brand new with the tags. Um, this is actually their brand. Someone probably went to England on vacation or whatever and got this in their shop because this is from their official merchandise shop, Manchester City. And this is just a little fleece pullover. Uh, nothing that would be too ex terribly expensive. There's not even a price on here. It'd be nice if it was, but I think it'll be it'll do okay at the uh, you know paying only seven fifty for it. I think it's probably eh, thirty five to forty five range or so on that. Next up, this uh, windbreaker jacket, and this is actually a New Balance, and this is a brand I don't pick up that often because there's not a huge demand for this stuff. I think this one is a will, will be okay. It's a full zip windbreaker. Brand new with the tags, and pay ten bucks for this. And um, this is a limited edition. Um, yeah, and there's the limited edition tag. So no exact comp on this. Comps on this. They're calling this the GT2 jacket on the tag. And there was none listed, but there was some others similar to this one that were sell that sold for forty, fifty a little bit even higher so I'm hoping this one may bring you know the 60 or 70 dollar point but we'll see just a couple more pieces of clothing so hang with me all you hard gooders 
this one was really neat as well. This is a hockey stick company. This is the Christian Hockey Company. America stick. And this is vintage Russell Athletic sweatshirt. Brand new with the tags. And uh, this is a company based out of Minnesota, I believe. On my Obviously, there was no comps on this. And this is only $3. And uh, I, you know, uh, I know he doesn't watch me, but Taco Stacks will go nuts over this shirt. He loves this kind of stuff. Yep, and it is cool. I think I think this is a you know an easy forty dollars or so on that one, maybe more. I don't know. Last piece of clothing. This is a nineteen, uh, not a color I'm a fan of. This is a nineteen ninety six Atlanta Olympics uh, sweatshirt. This is by Champion. And. Um, Got this one for four dollars and it's brand new with the tags you see them right there and uh nothing super special but i think this is a 35 40 dollar you know sweatshirt so yeah oh oh uh one more piece of clothing and i gotta go stage right be right back this was so massive i couldn't lay it on my table here hope everyone likes my new setup here but uh this is a huge this is the only piece of clothing that wasn't new with tags massive L.L. Bean. Let's see if you can see this. Nope. It's a, it's a massive L.L. Bean trench coat uh, lined, uh, wool lined. Let me read the tag off to you here. It's a 60% wool lining, 10% cashmere. Uh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. But uh, we've comped these out before, and this is a tall double extra large as well so this is an awesome size we only paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this 750 i've been passing on a bunch of yellow bean stuff recently because i'm being super picky but this thing will bring over a hundred dollars i don't know exactly how much over a hundred but uh probably it, between a hundred and two hundred dollars is what this will bring so pick that up only piece of clothing uh that wasn't new so yeah i didn't pick that up so that's all the clothes uh, all new with tags except for that one so that's great picked up this little university of maryland uh terrapins little uh canvas tote stadium combo and this is brand new with the tags got this at goodwill for uh we got 10 percent off so two and change and this has a fleece blanket and a little cushion seat inside it and it's brand new no comps for this, of course, and this isn't big money by any stretch, but, you know, 30 bucks or so. Should be okay with that being new with tags. Okay. A bag of three of these Dentec Aura brushes, and what these are are tongue scrapers. And these are brand new in the package, and there's three sets in there. And they paid, we got about 25% off, so two and change for all three of them. And these sell for 15 bucks a piece. So $45 in that one bag. Yeah, pretty nice. Got this little spoon rest for $1.25. My wife picked this up. There's no markings on it. But I know from experience, because I've sold a mug just like this one, that this is an Odagiri. And we sell a lot of Odagiri stuff. So, you know, experience. You know what it is. Uh, not a huge money maker, but this is between $20 and $30 for a spoon rest. Yeah. Got a John Lennon CD, brand new in the wrap. And usually I don't even look at CDs. I just happen to be walking by and it just caught my eye being brand new. And usually CDs don't sell for much. And this one isn't a whole lot, but it's 15 bucks for a CD. And that's really good for a CD. So I went in and picked that up for 50 cents. Real nice. And I pick these up when I see them because I sell them at a local outlet. You know how I used to pick up, I still do pick up DVDs that are sealed. And some of them I've started selling online. Some of them I still sell to my local, at my local place. Um, uh, Indiana Jones Trilogy, VHS. I pick this up for 25 cents a tape, so 75 cents for the trilogy. And I sell these all the time for about 10 bucks at my local place. So not a huge markup, but... It's like leaving a free $10 bill on the ground if I don't buy this, because they do sell. I've sold dozens of these things. So even better, more money, of course, if they're new, which I've only found like one brand new sealed in the wrap in the whole time. But picked up this uh, set of books, uh, Bob Salvatore, R.A. Salvatore. 
and I'm just a big fan of this guy. That's why I picked this up. It's not like it's worth a whole lot of money, but I only paid a dollar fifty. And if I did resell it, probably resell for about ten bucks or so. But I'll probably hang on to it. So we'll see. Picked up two more because I'm going to keep these on hand now. I combined that one I got last week with that printer, changed the listing, but I got two more parallel cables, brand new, for a dollar, dollar a piece. So I'm going to put those in my drawer and hang on to them because I buy printers. I'm going to pair them up with the printer. Okay, we got this Super Bowl. This was really neat, I thought, and this was brand new with the tags. It's a Super Bowl Pittsburgh Steelers, like leather helmet type of deal. And uh, paid up for this, paid uh, about 10 bucks. Well, no, actually, uh, along with clothing being half off, hats and accessories were half off as well. So I got this for $7.50, much better than the 10 bucks or so. And uh, the only one of these that was listed online was an Oakland Raiders one. And this is a Pittsburgh Steelers, which makes it much better. They had the Raiders one, and it was pre-owned, listed for 30 bucks. And this being a Steelers being brand new, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks, but we'll see. But it's really neat. I mean, I just thought it was really cool when I saw it. Kind of reminds me of that George Clooney movie, that leather heads or whatever that was. Only a few more things to go here. Um, left some really good stuff for the end. So I got this set of Dansk plastic cups, and they're from like, I don't know, 70s or so. And... Um, paid dollar and change for oh no two and change for them because we only got our 25 percent off on these and these are probably you know a 20 to 30 dollar thing i don't know if you can hear my dog snorting over the side and they're, the, they're dorks my wife found this and this is probably my wife found the two finds of the day really and it's one this is one of them this is a um, a toothbrush an ultrasonics toothbrush by salton they don't make these anymore and we paid up a little bit for this. You can see the price tag, but we got 50% off that blue and pink were half off. So $25, brand new, no exact comps for the double one of these. There was a single one sold for 60 or 70 bucks. So the double one will probably be a hundred plus, you know, not high hundreds, but probably low hundreds or whatever. So yeah, that'd be pretty good. Next up, my wife found this as well. She found another one of these, and this is one of those uh, cast iron gingerbread molds, and this one's brand new. This is by John Wright, 1989. We sold one of these exact ones during Christmas time for 100 bucks, and I have another one listed that I didn't really get up in time. We didn't find it in time to sell it for the holiday season, but um, we picked this up when we find them. You know, we paid six and change for this after our discount. And being brand new, this one is definitely $100 plus in the right season. So pick those up when you find them. Definitely probably will not sell, but it will this Christmas, I guarantee it. Last item, I believe. Yep. Baseball bat. Um, I saw this in the store, and I, you know, I always look at bats, and uh, this wood bat caught my eye. And it's not in great condition. You can see the end here. It's a little bit chewed up. You can tell someone played with it. Um, but I just thought it was really cool because this was made in Japan. So what I did is I took out my phone and no, I didn't comp it. I, uh, texted my friend, John, the Cincinnati picker. And, uh, he immediately got right back to me and said, yeah, it's, it's probably worth picking up. And, uh, I'm not saying it's worth a lot of money or anything. And he didn't claim to it'd be a lot of, you know, worth a lot of money, but it's definitely, we'll make a profit. We picked this up for $7 and 50 cents. And this is a pine bat, Tokyo. Satama by uh, Matsuken Company. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Japanese bats usually do pretty well, and I and I kind of knew that, and John confirmed it. So that was our that was a good pickup there. So that is it, guys. That is our haul. Uh, not like I said, not the quantity we're used to, but pretty decent quality. You know, a few hundred dollar items, a good coat, the gingerbread mold, the toothbrush, a bunch of good quality new tags, uh, clothing. So a bunch of good stuff. So uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to all of our subscribers and patrons. You guys are awesome. The super chatters, you guys are the best. I appreciate it. And we will be back this Thursday with our What Sold video. And I will be back on Wednesday with a live video. So thanks, guys. We'll see you then.